Hello, this is News on the Go. Here's what's cooking. I'm Amrita Balachandra. Let me begin with the numbers. Coronavirus cases in India has crossed the 2 lakh mark with 2 lakh 76,015 cases. 1 lakh 1,497 are active cases in the state, and there have been 5,815 deaths recorded. India also reported its highest one-day spike at 8,909 cases. Maharashtra continues to remain the worst hit with more than 72,300 cases. Tamil Nadu has 24,586 positive cases and Delhi has 22,132 positive cases. Gujarat on the other hand has 17,617 positive cases. But the good news is 1,303 people have recovered so far, almost 50% from the total number. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has taken to Twitter today appealing to the central government to transfer 10000 rupees each as a one time assistance to migrant laborers including people in the unorganized sector. She went on to say that a portion of PM Care's fund can be used for this. She also said that people have been going through economic hardship of unimaginable proportions because of the pandemic. Remember recently in a reply to the RTI filed by a Bangalore student when asked for details of PM Care's fund, the PMO stated that the fund is not a public authority under section 2H of the Right to Information 2005 Act. The Union Cabinet today approved amendment to the Essential Commodities Act that essentially deregulates food items including cereals, pulses and onions. The cabinet has also approved the Farming Produce Trade and Commerce Ordinance 2020 to ensure barrier-free in agricultural produce. Agriculture minister has said these decisions will go a long way in helping India's farmers transform the farming sector. Let me also take you through some absolutely tragic news coming in from Kerala. An elephant that was pregnant died in Kerala standing in water last week after she ate a pineapple filled with firecrackers allegedly given by some miscreants. The New Indian Express has reported that the elephant stood in the water to get some relief after the fruit had exploded in her mouth. The elephant walked around in the village then in searing pain and hunger. A probe now has been launched. Cyclone Nisarga in the meantime made its landfall at about 1 p.m. this afternoon near Alibagh in Maharashtra. Wind speed was reported at over 100 kilometers per hour. The good news however is that minimal damage was reported in the financial capital but there were reports of tree fall, strong winds and heavy rains in Alibagh. Raigarh and Palgar districts were affected as well. Flight operations were suspended till 7 p.m. This cyclone's impact was far lower than that of Cyclone Amphan. That's it from me today. I'm going to be back again tomorrow. This is Amta Balachandra signing off. Stay home, stay safe.